Destiny 2 has a load of weapons, but you'd have to spend any money to get some of the best weapons in the game. Well, this guide is for my free-to-play players today, and I'm going to run through 16 of the best weapons to get for free, plus also how to get them in Destiny 2. But if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content on Endgame Express. Well, without further delay, let's dive into these free weapons. So first of all, we've got the Heliocentric QSC. This one is a sidearm, so it's a legendary energy sidearm with a lightweight frame, meaning it's got superb handling and you can move faster with the weapon equipped. The origin trait for this one is Nadir Focus, and that means sustained fire increases the accuracy and the range. And to get this one, you want to look out for world drop weapons, or you want to farm Lost Sectors when it is the featured weapon for that Lost Sector for the day. Next up we got Zoli's Bane, so this one is a hand cannon, so Zoli's Bane is a legendary energy hand cannon with an adaptive frame, meaning it's got wear and a grip, it's reliable and it's sturdy. So this one comes from the King's Fall Raid and it comes with the origin trait runneth over where reloading near allies overflows the magazine and as I mentioned comes from the King's Fall Raid and that is in the Legends tab on the Direct and all the content in there is free for all players. Well, next up, we got my first exotic on the list, and this one is a monster. This one is Graviton Lance, and it is a Void Pulse Rifle. So it's an exotic energy pulse rifle, and it's really, really good for Void builds, mainly because of the perks. So let's have a look at those exotic perks. First of all, Black Hole, the second shot of the burst, rips a hole through space-time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall-off. Then you've got Cosmology, so kills with weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn Void projectiles that track targets. Now, if you want to get this one, you want to find this one from Zur, and he is around from Friday until recently on Tuesday, and I do a Zur location guide every week on Endgame Express, so keep it locked and subscribe to the channel to never miss a Zur update. Well, next up, we go back to the legendary weapons. We've got another pulse rifle. It is the Ogmar PR6. This one is a legendary energy pulse rifle with a lightweight frame, meaning it's got superb handling, and also lightweight frames very, very good for Crucible. This one comes with Omelon Fluid Dynamics, where the weapon increased reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine. If you want to get this one, the Gunsmith Banshee 44 in the Tower Courtyard, he sells it very, very often. Also, you can get it from Legendary Engrams. Next up, we've got Funnel Web. This one is a Void Submachine Gun released with the Witch Queen. This one is a really, really good weapon. It's a Legendary Energy Submachine Gun with a lightweight frame. I mean, it's got superb handling, and you can move faster with that weapon equipped. This one comes with a, a Vice Stinger Origin trait and that allows it to reload when you're damaging an enemy. Well, to get this one, again, you want to go to the Gunsmith, that is Banshee44. You can find him in the courtyard in the tower. Often sells Vice weapons and also legendary engrams as well. Well, next up, we've got an auto rifle. This one is the Amit AR2. It is a legendary energy auto rifle with a precision frame, meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. So solar weapons and builds are very, very hot right now, and the Amet AR2 is going to complement your solar build very, very well. It can roll with some of the best solar perks in the game, like Incandescent, so it's going to be really, really good for solar builds. Well, to get this one, again, you want to go to Banshee44, often sells these weapons, and uh, also look out for Legendary Engrams as well. Next up, we've got a Linear Fusion Rifle. This one is the Taipan 4FR. This one is really, really good for burst damage on bosses, and the Taipan 4 FR is a legendary power linear fusion rifle with a precision frame, meaning the weapon fires long range precision energy bolts, and the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. So this one comes with the origin trait Vice Stinger, so you damage an enemy with the weapon as a small chance to reload the magazine and increase the movement speed while aiming down the sights. Also, you can get this one from the Gunsmith and uh, ranking up with the Gunsmith 2 and legendary engrams around out there in the wild. Well, next up, we've got another auto rifle. This one is the Ross Arago, and the Ross Arago 4 is a legendary energy auto rifle with an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a wear around a grip, it's reliable, and it's sturdy. The origin trait is called Wild Card. This one is very, very interesting. So, final bows of the weapon have a chance to create experimental submunitions at the target's location. This one is a world drop weapon, so it is quite tricky to farm. However, your best bet is probably farming lost sectors when it is the featured Lost Sector weapon of the day. Next up, we got the Cantata 57. This one is a great 140 hand cannon. It's a legendary energy hand cannon with an adaptive frame. 
It's got a well-rounded grip. It is reliable and it's sturdy. You can get this one often from the Gunsmith, also legendary engrams. Just check out the Gunsmith on Tuesday. So he rotates with various weapon foundries there, and you can often find the Cantata in the collection of the weapon foundry weapons on the first page of Banshee 44. Next up, we've got the Palmyra B. This one is a very good rocket launcher. It's a legendary stasis power rocket launcher with a precision frame, meaning the weapon fires a small auto tracking missile and missiles lock onto targets when aimed. This one's a Hake weapon, so the origin trait is Hake Breach Armaments, and it deals increased damage against vehicles, turrets, barricades, and stasis crystals. Now, it's a very, very good power weapon, this one. You know, it's got a really good perk pool, especially considering it is a free world drop weapon. Normally, something this powerful might be reserved for the seasonal weapons or raid weapons, but this thing is very, very good, and it should be on your radar. So to get this one, you can get it from the Gunsmith Banshee 44. It's usually part of his collection of weapons and also legendary engrams as well. Next up, we got a couple of exotic weapons. So first of all, a linear fusion rifle. This one is Arbalest. Arbalest is an exotic kinetic linear fusion rifle. And it's got the perks compounding force. So fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields or enemy combatants. Then we got disruption break. So breaking an enemy shield with the weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. You know, the weapon is basically a handheld railgun, especially damaging against any unit with a shield, be it a centurion, a captain, a minotaur, a wizard. Champions as well, very, very good against champions. So if your target has an elemental shield, it can be certain that Arbalest is going to deliver a world of pain to that target. And if you want to get Arbalest, you can pick it up from Zur. Next up, another exotic weapon. We've got Sunshot. This one is a solar hand cannon. So Sunshot is an exotic energy hand cannon. Let's have a look at the perks. So we've got Sunburn. The weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from Sunshot. And we've also got Sunblast. Targets killed with Sunshot explode in solar energy. This one is really, really good for solar builds. Should definitely be on your radar, especially this season in Season of the Wish. And if you want to get this one, you can get it from Zur. Next up, we got Abyss Defiant. This one is an auto rifle. It's a legendary energy auto rifle with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing, but it's got high damage. The weapon is more accurate when you're stationary, moving slowly or aiming down the sights. So we've got so we've got unique origin traits to Crota's End weapons called Curse Thrall, where after defeating a target with a melee attack, final blows of the weapon cause targets to explode for a short duration. So to get this one, you want to enter Crota's End Raid and you can get it from the first encounter or from the final boss. Next up, another raid weapon. This one is Fatebringer. You can get this from the Vault of Glass raid. Fatebringer is a legendary kinetic hand cannon with an adaptive frame. I mean, it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable, and it's sturdy. So to get this one, as I mentioned, Vault of Glass raid, you can get it from the Templar encounter. That is the third encounter or from the final boss. Next up, we've got a relatively new weapon. This is Prosecutor. This one is an auto rifle, and it's a legendary energy auto rifle with a precision frame, meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. The origin trait is Crossing Over, where the weapons increase range and handling for the top half of the magazine, while rounds in the bottom half of the magazine deal increased damage. So to get this one, you want to get it from the Prophecy Dungeon from the first encounter, and you can find that in the Legends tab on the Director. Finally, we've got the best weapon for free-to-play players, and this one is a scout rifle. This one is Polaris Lance. This one is an exotic energy scout rifle that deals solar damage. So looking at the perks, we've got the perfect fifth. Precision hits return ammo to the magazine, and landing four precision hits loads a delay solar explosive round for your next shot. But it also comes with zen moments, so causing damage with the weapon increases the stability. Always good on a scout rifle. So really, the main perk here is the perfect fist. So ideally, when you're playing with a weapon, you want to be getting as many precision hits as you possibly can as you get the benefit of the explosive round for the fifth shot. So you might see loads of people running around nightfalls with this scout rifle, and now you can get it for free. This one is very, very good indeed. So to get this one, you can get it from the Monument to Lost Lights, and you can find that in the tower next to your vault. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about this list of free-to-play weapons. I know there's loads of weapons in Destiny 2 and it can be confusing some time, but hopefully this is a good guide for you free-to-play players, and let me know down in the comments what you think, and also free-to-play players, let me know what weapons you are using and also what I've missed.
Well, that is it for this guide for the 16 best weapons for free-to-play players in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. Also, you can like the video and you can share it too. That would really, really help us out here on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I will see you very soon.